a mischievous toddler coated the living room carpet, walls and a brand new sofa with emulsion just two weeks after it was decorated when left alone for just five minutes while his mum got changed. Faye Comer had left Eileen Nelson, three, watching TV while she popped upstairs to change before meeting up with friends. Dot Faye from Carlisle Cumbria said, I was getting changed when I suddenly realized he was too quiet and there was a strong smell of paint. I rushed downstairs and came around the corner into the living room. Dottie was stood there covered head to toe in white emulsion paint on his hands, his feet, new outfit, the lot. Share this article share I was absolutely mortified. He didn't just stop at opening the tin of paint he made pictures with it and rode his bike through it. How he did all of this in five minutes I don't know. You would think he's been left an hour the destruction he's caused. You could see on his face he was like I oh, he knew he'd done something wrong. His coping mechanism is to make a joke out of things so when he announced, look mummy I've made a picture it was hard to be angry with him. He eventually did sneak off and try to hide he knew he was in the doghouse. Faye and fiancé Paul Nelson, who also have eight-month-old son Rory Nelson, had just put the finishing touches to their living room having splashed out 3,500 pounds on paint and a new grey corner suite. After discovering the paint carnage, which Faye believes began after Ollie dropped the tin and dislodged the lid, she desperately tried to scoop the paint up. Faye rang her mum Lisa Comer, 59, in a desperate bid to save the carpet and the sofa from Ollie's destructive paint doodles. She then assembled the crack team of cleaners including Paul's grandparents who spent two hours helping her frantically scoop the paint back into the tin and scrub the soft furnishings. They said, when it happened I immediately got on the phone to my mama she knows how to get stains out of things. I asked her whether I could cover it up, but she didn't think. So Dot Paul's grandparents also came over to try and help me as I used a spade to shovel it back into the tin and tried to scrub handprints off the couch, but there was nothing we could do. They said that after half an hour of frantic attempts to clean the mess up, she heard 25-year-old Paul's car pull onto the driveway after playing a round of golf with pals. The construction manufacturer manager was left open-mouthed when he walked through the house and saw the trail of destruction. They said he walked through the house and did ask what was going on when he went into the hallway and saw the footprint trail. At first he didn't realize the extent of it until he walked into the living room and when he saw it, he hit the roof. Not only had Ollie covered the living room in paint, but he'd also managed to damage 1,200 pound worth of carpet which leads into the hallway and up the stairs onto the landing. Faye has only just shared the images from the carnage caused by Ollie, now four, last year since getting the carpet and sofa replaced. They said someone from the insurance company came out and priced it all up. I don't think the man who came out believed us at first, but I think, since meeting Ollie he knew what had happened. Thankfully the insurance covered most of the damage. Now he never gets left alone even for a couple of minutes, when it's quiet I'm always asking, what's he doing you couldn't do anything but laugh. If I hadn't, have laughed I would have cried. Paul has only just got over it and finally found the funny side of it.